So good morning, uh, good afternoon, good evening, everybody, for the uh, second uh, O Perspective of the year 2022. Uh, we have uh, an English guest today from UK, our friend Andy Berks, who is uh, we, one of the top leaders with uh, Red and all the people from UK and Ireland. Uh, so uh, Andy will give uh, its own uh, all perspective on, on passive uh, today for you. Uh, so be uh, ready to uh, question him if you want after uh, uh, Andy will tell us what is his vision with on passive. Uh, thank you all for joining and Andy, the floor is yours. You can, uh, uh, you can take on the field. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Thierry. Um, <clears throat> welcome, everybody, and hello and um, from this wet and windy UK. Uh, but at least it's not cold and snowing. So um, I, I think there, there are several things I, I'd love to cover. Um, the, the, the first is the, the marketing expertise that um, Ash has. So we know that last year he did a test where he wanted to get a million opt-ins to see how long it would take to get a million opt-ins. That's people putting their telephone number name and collecting their IP address. Now, he didn't use artificial intelligence. He wanted to test his, his marketing um, uh, skills. And it took four days, just four days to obtain that one million opt-ins. Now that's a start. Now we've also heard Ash on on um, uh, some of the webinars. He has a uh, uh, created a um, I'm not sure what the word is uh, a, a system whereby he can collect email addresses, telephone numbers, and names, and IP addresses, etc. And at the moment he has 850 million. Now let that sink in for a moment. 850 million people that we could market to already. OK, now the other thing is that the data center. Now, I'm I'm not tech savvy in the slightest and I really don't understand how these products work, but nor do I need to. I love the simplicity of this, because if you think about it, um, this company is going to register a domain name for us, build us a website, drive specific targeted traffic to the website, close the sale and then deal with all the customer support. So we never have to. Uh, to speak to any of the customers. We don't have to recruit. We don't have to sell anything. It's all done for us, fully automated. But the data center, this is the key to this business. And, and Ash's original uh, vision was to open a data center or set up a data center a year down the line. But we've heard recently that this is now uh, in place and, and they're already starting to set this up and it should be set up within the next couple of months. Now, what does that actually mean to us? Well, we listened to a couple of the IT specialists last night and they were jumping about in their seats because companies like Amazon and, and Microsoft ho host their own um, crowd, a, a cloud hosting. And it costs some companies, and I think Oliver was on last night, and he was explaining that his company have to pay 30 million a year to host their products online. Now, if we have our own data center and our own hosting, which is what Ash is going for, it means that companies of this size can move their hosting across to one passive, but we don't have to charge 30 million. We could charge 10 million, undercut everybody else, but bearing in mind that every single founder would then benefit from the profit or a, a large proportion of the profit that is generated by us hosting their details on in our data center. Now that's an incredible opportunity. And that means when he mentioned the other day about if we just have a couple of governments on board to use O staff, for instance, we're going to make millions. Well, he's quite right because there are certain governments that that have their in, or will place their entire um, HR system under O staff, but it, all of those staff will use the products too, and then go, hold on a minute, I want to use this myself. So they then introduce their friends and so on. So this is just going to go like a mushroom cloud, and when it goes viral. 
we're going to see huge, huge numbers of, of, of customers coming in. Um, and when the kids understand about the social media platform, again, it's just going to mushroom. It's just going to go berserk. But let me give you an idea. I mean, uh, we anticipate taking on 250,000 customers a day. That's over 100 million customers in a year. Now, we are we are just over a million founders. And if you take the pending positions out, we're probably around about the million. That makes us in the 1%, the top 1% of the company. Now, if you were given the opportunity to be the top 1% of Amazon or, or Microsoft or Facebook, Christ, you jump at the chance. So let me uh, give you a, an example of how you can change your income by simply sharing this opportunity with others. So let's say you did absolutely nothing. And I'm going to assume that the company is going to give you your three customers within a very short period of time, probably a week or two weeks. But it's going to cover your month's subscription from then on, as, it, uh, as he's promised. And from then on, it then takes the company three months to create a further three customers for those three customers and three more for you and so on. Another three months, another three and so on. So it'll go you plus your three, that's four. Four times three is 12 plus your four is 16. 16 times three, 48 plus your 16, 64. 64 times three, 192 plus your 64, 256 customers and you've done nothing. Now, if you were to actually share this opportunity with nine of your loved ones, friends, acquaintances, and they joined you on this journey, then you multiply those figures by 10. So at the end of the first year, you'd have 2,560 customers, not 256. Now, what would that do for your income? That's 10 times the income by simply sharing it with nine others. Now, there are lots of presentations ab uh, about, and it's simply sending people to, along to these presentations. You've got one here. Um, the company do one on a Tuesday. UK and Ireland, as Alicia mentioned, we do one on a Wednesday. We have a founders only meeting on Sunday. There are others going on throughout the week. Um, uh, I was at the um, uh, Norway and Botswana. I know it's a, a, a difficult one. I think Kiba's here, actually. But, but um, uh, that's because she's from Botswana, but she lives in Norway. Uh, and that was fabulous as well. So everybody gets a, a really good indication of exactly what's going on. And simply by engaging, um, we've got to get engaged. We've got to understand what's going on because we're not going to miss the train. We know we're sorted. We know we're going to be financially independent. And the lovely thing about this is Ash is trying to create a million millionaires, a million Mother Teresas, because at the end of the day, once you've filled your tank, you're going to be able to help others. Now, um, Amazon, uh, Jeff Bezos, he, when he went to, uh, um, to space and then landed, he said, I want to thank my customers and my employees for making me so much money. Unbelievable. OK, so now we have a man who is the total opposite of that. He said, I want to earn a million a month, but I only need 30,000 of that, a thousand dollars a day. Everything else I want to be able to give to others to make their lives better. So all of us here are going to be able to make other lives better simply by filling our tank and anything that overflows from that we'll be going to be able to help others and I think that is one of the most beautiful things about this company and and once you become a founder you change that mindset Ash has made us change this mindset that that uh, to his and that is fantastic we've got a million people here so it's a case of sharing with all of these others that aren't engaged at the moment and making sure they change their their thought process as well but I hope that helps, Thierry. Yes, uh, Andy, for sure. It's uh, it's very clear as you uh, as you uh, as you said, and uh, uh, we have uh, the perspective in the coming uh, months and years because uh, uh, we still uh, don't know yet when the launch will be. But uh, with all coming, with all this uh, new application coming, this new product coming and uh, uh, delivering, we, uh, we are able to uh, beta test uh, 
the, the products that millions will use, will use tomorrow. And, uh, and we are in advance because <laughs> we are the first uh, to use it. And so, uh, yes, it is a really exciting times. I think, um, I think it's time for everybody to, uh, uh, yes, as you said, to, uh, to ask the people around, around you, your contact, your friends, your family, uh, to, uh, to join us uh, as a founder, because the, the door will close very soon, as Ash uh, uh, said to us last week. Uh, he will give us the date uh, uh, probably this week. Uh, yesterday, I know that it, he said that uh, uh, this week uh, uh, we're going to have some important meeting with him. Uh, so it's really time uh, to uh, wake up the, 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 the people uh, from your uh, network and uh, to give them the, the, the link to, uh, to see the, the, the whole presentation that you can, uh, uh, that you can watch uh, every, every corner of the globe. <laughs> Yesterday, I was in Papua New Guinea. You were uh, Saturdays in Botswana and Norway, and uh, uh, yes, every day there are, there are a lot of uh, presentation. To, uh, tonight there is a German presentation, uh, but also French tomorrow, uh, Croatian, uh, even uh, Christine uh, is doing the Tagalog presentation for the people in the Philippines every Friday. So uh, it's time to, uh, to gather your people in this presentation that they can understand and they can uh, see the vision like we saw a while ago. How long uh, are you uh, in uh, on passive, uh, Andy? Um, my, my first position I bought um, in January 2020, but um, I was lucky enough to get some of the older positions from Red and from Marty. So, so it's not my good, oldest good. position, but that's when I started. Yeah. Good, good. Yes, Peter, you want to add something? Hey. Yeah, Andy, I, I was maybe number one is your, twi uh, your Twitter, not, not Twitter, the TikTok handle. You said on, on, on passive. passive revolution. Revolution. I was just interested what what you know what really motivated you to you know put that name as a as a I, actually it's my it's also my YouTube channel and the um, uh, uh, Peter Rogers helped me um, set up a YouTube channel a couple of years ago when I uh, when I first became a uh, part of on passive what i'd done was uh, i was trying to uh, find some more leads or acquire some more leads for my own business i've been a financial advisor for 35 years i know i don't look that old but um bottom <laughs> line was <laughs> it was taking way too long to 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 get leads through so i tried to set up a web with um a capture page a sales funnel and, and then link it with Facebook. Um, now I'm a, I'm a numbers guy. I, I'm not technically minded and I got so confused. It drove me nuts. Um, but I came across this advert and I think it was Marty that placed the advert. And it just said fully automated uh, website capture page, all of this. And I thought, ah, perfect. So I signed up there and then, and I didn't pay any more attention to it for about four months. Then I thought, Ooh, I best have a look and see what's going on here. So I started watching some of the videos that Mike Ellis had posted. And, and, and then I started kicking myself thinking, oh my God, you've left it four months, you idiot. Now you don't need the leads for your business. What you need to do is to build this business. There's no, nothing else I ever need. This is the last business you'll ever need. So Peter Rogers helped me set up this um, uh, uh, YouTube channel. And I started uh, sharing some of the, the videos from Bill Must and Mike Ellis and Marty and, and Red, et cetera. Um, and building the channel up a little bit. Now, to be fair, <clears throat> I've had very, very few <laughs> views on anything, and I think I've managed to get just over 300 subscribers. But all of a sudden, Marina gave me an idea the other day, which I thought, oh, well, that's interesting. So I tried that, um, and that's boosted the number of subscribers by 40 in a couple of days, which is great. Um, <clears throat> so it's really a case of, of, of making use of what you have got. But 
um, because the the on passive revolution was linked to I had to think of a name at the time and I just thought oh okay well that one fits um, uh, and it was j just like that Peter I suppose but um, setting up the TikTok account this morning was literally okay well I can link it to the Gmail account so it automatically says on passive revolution so that's that's why it's like that yeah that, that's really great I think you, you kind of made uh like two different kind of people. The first one is someone who does not refer anybody, you know, and then the company bills. But the other example you made was someone who can refer at least nine people and then bill from there. Now, when you look at it, actually the income potential is real big. But those of us who have been, you know, with passive and attending different webinars, especially if you are here for the first time or you, you are new to the company, uh, this is the time that you have to take it very seriously. Uh, and if you are new, you know, someone has invited you, get back to the person who invited you so that you can get in and get in now because the time is running out. Is that right, Andy? Absolutely. Um, as I said, this is the last business anyone will ever need. Um, if you take things seriously and you run this as your business, which is what it should be. I mean, this is a multi, multi million pound business for each and every one of us. And I think it was Michael Williams that was asked, would you sell one of your positions for three million dollars? And he said, absolutely not. It's not worth my while. Because our position is far more um, uh, Worth, or worth far more than just three million. I think the, the analogy is, um, would you take a penny doubled every day Ooh. for 30 days or would you take a million pound? Now, I, I love the power of compound growth and having been in the industry for a very long time, I know that the penny creates far more wealth than the million dollars or a million pound would. So um, bottom line is, you know, we, we have this opportunity and most of us are, or some of us are getting engaged. So we have a million founders, but actually there's probably a hundred thousand of those that are fully engaged and know what's going on and 900,000 that still have no clue and just signed up saying, yeah, yeah, okay, fine, I'll get in. But they don't really understand what's going on. And that's the shame because we've got this 72 hour window where people have got the problems with the emails, et cetera. This is a week's delay for on passive launching. And this is because what we're not doing is we're not speaking to our groups or our teams or whatever you, our customer base, whatever you want to call them, to make sure that they are or they know what's going on. And that's sad, really, because as I said, this is our business. They are our customers and they will be our customers that we know of. When the, customer, when the company goes live uh, and it starts building this customer base, we will never see any of those other customers, only the ones that we've personally introduced or personally, and I hate using the word recruit, but shared it with. Yeah. So, so this is for you, every single person here, this is a multi, multi million pound business and you need to take this exceedingly seriously because when you make that money, what the hell are you going to do with it? We, when I first started in the industry, we were we we sat in a, a training session, and the um, director, the regional director at the time. Now this is back in the early '80s, so um, the regional director at the time was earning a hundred thousand a month. Okay, now that is a hell of a lot of money, certainly back early '80s. But he turned to a group of us and there were 25 of us in that room. And he said, what would you do with that 100,000? How many months would you be able to spend? So the guys go, OK, well, I buy a house, I buy a holiday home, I buy a nice car and they're stuck. What would you do after that? Now, me, I'm writing feverishly for about 10 minutes, working out where it's all going, what I'm going to spend it on, who's going to benefit from it and everything else. And that's we're not doing any of that. We're not planning for this coming in. And we should be. Every single person here should have a business plan set up. And if they haven't, they need to get one set up. Yeah. yeah? What are you going to do with this when it comes in? Mm -hmm. How are you going to make it work? Now, every single person here should make use, full use of the ad, um, advertising packs that um, 
um, uh, Ash is going to bring in. So in other words, it's going to multiply the traffic driven to your website tenfold. Now, once this goes viral, if you're in that with that advertising pack, you're going to have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people fall within your group. Now, that income, if you think about it, if I start with $1,000 because I've been able to build a small team to start with and I've got $1,000 coming in, within a month, that could be 4000 Within the following month, that could be 8000 Within the following month, it could be 20000 This thing is exponential. And we have 4.5 billion potential customers here from everybody that uses the internet. Wow. Yeah, that's powerful. You also you're also talking about, I think earlier you mentioned about, you know, some of the IT experts who just come in to be part of on passive and how they get excited because they really see what on passive is all about and the, the technology and all of that behind. Yeah, sorry, continue. Uh, absolutely. We have um, certainly on the on Passive Family that want the seminar we do on a Sunday, we have Collins and, and Oliver. Uh, they're both IT specialists. So um, Collins was talking about uh, a project that his company were putting together. It's one one product and it's taken the company four and a half years to get it to the stage it's currently at. It doesn't use artificial intelligence. It's not in place yet four and a half years so he sat there and thought hold on a second we've got a suite of products that are at, well on the website there are over 20 etc and they're going to be far far more than that but but this this suite of products has been created within three and a half years all of those products and they're fully integrated with artificial intelligence so when you think about it and again i think this came from uh, michael williams who said it takes no Charles a song. It takes um, it would take one man 112 years to write the code for one program using artificial intelligence because there's well over two million lines of code. OK, we've created a suite in less than three and a half years. It's incredible absolutely incredible and these guys are so excited about this that they i mean oliver can't sit on his on his chair properly it's it's most amusing he's jumping about all over the place because he sees and understands what their products are um how they're going to work how they're going to make a difference to the world and more importantly the data center and hosting our own cloud uh, um uh, cloud hosting so it, it is huge and we are only seeing the tip of the iceberg we have no clue as to what's going on underneath mm -hmm. when we do it'll blow your mind because as i said i don't understand it I, I i don't want to understand it it's not my forte but just knowing of what's going on in the background or just getting an inkling of what's going on in the background, you start to get incited. So we're all fired up here and it's incredible. It's absolutely massive. Yeah. Andy, I was thinking about the fact that on passive really our earnings are truly unlimited, uncapped and about the multiple sources of income. I wondered if you could elaborate on those two concepts. Okay, um, uncapped basically means that you have a vision, uh, uh, an income goal. I think Michael Williams is a million dollars a month. OK, um, and he's working on the basis of obtaining a million customers in order to have work on the basis of one dollar each. That's a million a month. OK, as I said, we have four point five potential billion potential customers that we could we, we we can access and it's achieving the goal the financial goal that you have so runa for instance in papua new guinea if you were to earn twelve thousand a year dollars a year that would probably make a huge difference to you okay it wouldn't all right so we're talking a lot higher all right fair enough all right so so fifty thousand dollars a year all right fifty so there's your goal that's what you want to achieve now some of you others want 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 a month. Yeah, it is entirely possible for you to achieve that. But as I said, this is your business. So you are the one that is responsible to achieve that 
in the shortest period of time. I don't know about most of you, but I want to retire next year. I do not want to work hard hard any longer i've worked too hard for too many people and all i've been is ripped off over the years so it's time for me to do something for me but i want to retire next year so i have an income goal that i'd like to achieve that's perfectly attainable whatever that limit might be now we've got various income streams or various potential income uh, opportunities should we say so the first one we know is the suite of products that we have. Yeah, these products are, are, are going to be open out and we've got 4.5 or 4.7 billion potential customers there. Now, when Ash brings on um, uh, data center and, and cloud hosting, we've then got all of the every single business on the globe. Yeah. So there's probably another two and a half billion potential customers there because this becomes a separate entity, a separate product. He's also talked about uh, the possibility of um, uh, physical products. So the physical products, uh, I know it was discussed last year that they were designing something for the US military. We don't have any further details, of it, but that's another um, potential income source. Now you also then look at the, uh, the, the companies like um, Adidas or Nike, for instance, that want to do advertising. They don't want to become a reseller. They're not interested in that in the slightest, but their advertising budget might be $50 million a month. And with the uh, marketing sources or opportunities that Ash could offer them, they'd be maybe paying the company a huge amount for them to advertise or send traffic to their sites. So Ash is going to take out the cost of that and a little bit for research and development and share the rest amongst the founders. So that's another potential income stream. Now, once the founders have, have closed, and as I said, I, I think personal guess i think we'll find that the uh, pending accounts that that are taken off we're near on a million yeah we might be slightly over but at the end of the day let's work on the basis of a million so there is a million people now if you've got um a thousand companies uh, top companies paying you know millions a month to advertise or to to boost their sales of their company using our traffic sources our hosting and our um, um, data centers oh my oh my word it, you know that's another income source because he's just going to hand out part of the profits now I, I, I I'm flabbergasted by a man in his position that works tirelessly, that spends as much time with people like us as he does. This is absolutely incredible. I've never come across a CEO that's willing to spend that much time. Normally they just wave at you and disappear off down the corridor. You, you, they're never seen. This man is total and up, utter opposite of every single CEO, VP, uh, managing director that I've ever come across in my life. And believe me, I've, I've met a few. <laughs> so I just, with what's going on and the potential with all of the extras that he wants to continue to bring in, it just brings in another additional income source and another potential customer base. So we could have in five years time, a, a potential customer base of a hundred billion because of the various products that we've got, you, you know, 4.5 billion for this and then another 4.5 billion for that and then another four point and so on. It could just add up and add up and add up. So the limitations, there aren't any. Does that make sense, Lynn? That's totally mind blowing. And also the advertising revenue that is going to be shared with founders. That's another huge source of income, right, for us? Absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. Because as I said, there's companies like the likes of Adidas, for instance, and I use that as an example purely, but um, uh, they're not going to want to become resellers. They're not going to click the little button up in the corner and say, yeah, I want that money. They're not interested in that. They're just focused on their own business. And the, and um, as I said, I've met an awful lot of, of uh, presidents, vice presidents, CEOs, managing directors, et cetera, and top level management over the years with financial services. They are all fully focused on their own little bit. They're not interested in anything else. That's their job. That's their company. And that's what they're trying to do. So, so when you um, uh, offer an opportunity that will help them boost their business, they're going to listen.
They're not interested in making another business with on passive. That's not their thing. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the income streams from these companies is just going to build and build and build. And if you have one government, just one government involved the using the, the resources that on passive has just think how many com companies within that country will actually start to look and go hold on a second our government's using this why aren't we and that's why i said the other day if we have one government on on board we're set we're going to have tens of millions of customers just because that one government's got um uh, uh, things in place that's incredible also the that is, and also the additional things that OnPassive will be getting into in the future, such as cryptocurrency, mining pool in our own coin, uh, real estate, food franchises, possibly 5G, internet service provision, and more. There's so much more. I think of Ash as an inventor and also someone that knows what the market lacks. He sees a need and then he'll fill that need. So I believe we will continue to get involved in many, many more arenas and create new products for the world that the, pro that the world doesn't even know could, could be in place. He's such a Absolutely. genius as far as that Absolutely. goes. Absolutely. And, and the, you know, not forgetting oh bless and, and what they're talking about with regard to the homeless. Now, again, this is huge. It, we have, um, certainly in London, there are a hell of a lot of, of people that are, um, homeless, unfortunately, and and many of the ex forces um, uh, from the from the UK, once they leave the forces, they lose their property. So many of them are suffering from PTSD, uh, and they've lost their property. They can't find work, and they they end up on the streets. So, if if we can solve this in Michigan um, as a as a test, just think what it could mean for the rest of the globe, and all of the other places that you are in. Because, as I said, I'm not actually in London, but I'm not that far away, probably about 100 kilometers. But, but um, uh, the, the possibilities then become endless for others. So, so, yeah, we've got this opportunity that can give us everything we ever wanted. But it also gives us the opportunity. And probably more importantly, we all have a heart to help others, but we don't have the financial capability. Well, very soon we will have the financial capability to be able to help all of those others. Uh, and this money is just going to keep pouring in from all of these various different sources. So that is an incredible opportunity. Would you share about the uh, true freedom that OnPassive offers each and every one of us? Uh, for me, freedom means... I'm a keen golfer, so I play golf every day. If the if the day's got a Y in it, I'll play, as long as it's not pouring with rain. Um, but but freedom is different for everybody. Freedom is is um, sitting on a beach with a laptop, or um, uh, going to a soup kitchen and helping others, or um, uh, being able to choose when you go to the airport. Okay, we'll go here today. Uh, freedom is whatever you want it to be. Um, and and the the possibilities with what we have at, at our feet are, are endless so it, it's your choice yeah as asha said fill your tank and then whatever's left over you make use of yes yes and and the fact that we don't only get financial freedom through on passive but time freedom i think that's what sets on passive apart from every other company on earth would you agree with that Oh, absolutely. Um, as I said, when I, I first looking at this um, uh, and tried to put all these components together, couldn't do it. Um, uh, a chap approached me and said, I'll do it for you. No problem. He was going to charge me um, in total £25,000. So £15,000 for a website design, a capture page. And then he wanted to use £10,000 for Facebook advertising. Well, that's £25,000. So what I've done with on passive in effect is is I am paying for them to create me a business, uh, but I don't have to do the sale at all. It's all done for me. So in effect, what I'm doing is I'm continuing to pay them to build my business. The simple difference is it's not coming out of my pocket. It's coming out of the commissions that I'm already earning. Yeah. So, so instead of it costing me 25,000 to, to obtain more leads for my own business, I'm now going to be paying, let's call it $300 a month, but 
it's not coming out of my personal pocket and anything over and above that 300 is coming back to me. So I'm letting them build me a business. I'm paying for that, but it's not costing me personally anything. Yeah. So, so, you know, the opportunity um, uh, to have a business for everybody here you have your own business. This is your business and it's costing you money over month on month on month, but it's not because it's not coming out of your pocket. It's simply coming out of the commissions that are earned from the customers that are already brought on for you. This is true. This is true. Uh, at this time, we want to open it up to the floor. If any of you have any questions for Andy, he's a great resource. I would take advantage of this time with Andy. So first we have uh, Narelle, who would like to say a few words. Go ahead, Narelle. Thank you, Lynn. And uh, thank you, Andy, for being here. Uh, your knowledge is um, way out there. So <laughs> thank you. Uh, my question is, we hear it a lot said that um, self-funding and the company will pay you to use it. Now, can you just explain that a little bit more so that um, not only I, but other people can understand. So, sure. Yeah. Sure. Hi, hi, Narelle, how are you? Okay. Right. Um, so, uh, as I said, once you've got your three customers, it, it, it then, the monthly cost to use the suite of products that we have becomes um, uh, not out of your pocket. It's paid for by the commissions that are coming in. So the next month, when we've got a further three customers, there's more money coming in. So this then becomes self-funding. In other words, you've got it, the, the cost covered by your initial three customers. And anything over and above that, uh, then you're just going to build an income. Now, bearing in mind, uh, I don't like using the word matrix or, or, or any of that, but but bottom line is once you have three, everything else is going to fall down. So all of the guys that have been building groups or, or customer bases, you can only have three on your first line. The next one down goes to the next one in your, uh, yeah, and it's their three. So you're already helping others to build their groups. And if it, it means then that you might get $2 for that next one that's fallen down and so on um uh, and it's unlimited and i think marty's um uh, team goes down to something like um uh, 116 levels mm. you, you know it's it, it but the the per, the point a bit uh, about self-funding is you just need three yeah three yeah. customers and then it becomes self-funding so anything over and above that you're then starting to make money as long as those customers stay on board, you continue to earn a, an income month on month. Now, the yeah. beauty about the customer base is that when they come on board and you're going to have lots and lots of, of um, multi-level marketing, affiliate marketing, email marketers, um, et cetera, come on board and they're going to bring their groups with them because as soon as they see the compensation plan, which um, Ash is patenting, they're going to go. Oh my God! One on one eye. Why aren't why aren't I in this? <laughs> Teeth back in. Sorry. Um, uh, uh, and it's uh, it'll be too late because they won't be a founder. They won't have seen the vision. Um, and some of these multi-level marketers have got a hundred thousand odd in their groups. They're just going to kick themselves. Now they can become a reseller, but they're not going to get the perks that we're going to get. Yeah. Just um, talking about that, Andy, sorry, sorry to interrupt there. Um, I understand the self-funding part of it, and maybe I should have asked the question a little bit different because what I've heard is just about like resellers um, being able to um, use the products but also get paid for using the products and eventually it costing them nothing. So that's the yep. part I, so I suppose I need more. And I don't know whether you have the answers to that yet or whether yeah. we can have that. Okay, so, me. so let me. Narelle, no, oh, one moment. I think Narelle meant to say customers, right? You're asking how customers yep. are going to get their products. I'm asking for resellers. resellers. The yeah. resellers. No, in other words, I heard every, it was every, resellers, yeah. Right, you oh, can okay, be a customer, you. but you can also be a reseller. So so um, yeah. let, let's take it that I've got my, my first three and then, under one of the those three um, is a is a customer. He was brought on board specifically to use the products, 
but I'm continuing to build the group because of the advertising I'm doing. So all of a sudden, this chap has now got three underneath him. Now in the top left-hand corner of the, of the screen, it'll say, by the way, Mr. Customer, if you press this button to become a reseller, these people could fall in your group and that money could be yours. Now, who in their right mind would turn around and go, oh, hold on a second, no, I don't want that money. Yeah. But the pure genius of this is that once that customer comes on board and starts getting paid, he's never going to leave because he's getting paid to use the products that were far superior in the first place at a far lower price point than he was paying for all of these separate entities before. But now they're all under one roof and he's getting paid to use them. And probably what will happen is that he will... Uh tell all his neighbor uh, what is happening and uh, <laughs> all his neighbor yeah. will join him. So his team will get bigger and his wallet also. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so Absolutely. in saying that, Andy, I know that as founders, we're all going to be customers. Okay. Uh, can a person come into on passive and just be a reseller? You're a customer and a reseller at the end of the day. So you're a customer because you have the products. Um, but those that come in after the founder's uh, uh, opportunity is closed, uh, bearing in mind every single founder will also become a customer and a reseller. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But once the, the founders of uh, system is closed you can be either a customer or a customer and a reseller because you're you're automatically a customer because you've paid to use the suite of products you're a reseller then because you're actually continuing to build your group or your team or your customer base whatever you want to call them yeah okay yeah, yeah, no, that's, um, sorry yeah, that no, just explains it a bit more sorry thank you very much for that so yeah no, i think in one of the webinars uh, Ash mentioned that there will be an option for them to choose. If they want to be a reseller, they can. If not, yeah. then they just... But, yeah. but as I said, Peter, my understanding from Red is that that um, uh, you will have the, the the virtual wallet or the O wallet will show an amount of money in that in that pot, and it'll say, "Mr. Customer, do you want to become a reseller? Because if you do, you can take this out." Exactly. So the bottom line, Andy, I think is that because of our business model, which is very, very generous and what you just discussed, that retention will be unbelievably high. With other Absolutely. companies, you see, you see attrition. Attrition is a huge issue for many companies because of the monthly auto ship. And with yep. OnPassive, because we are self-funding, we don't think people are ever going to want to leave the company. So what we're going Absolutely. to experience in on passive is growth, simply growth. Absolutely. Uh, put it this way, Lynn, you, you have a, uh, an email marketer that comes on board to use the, the lead system, the, the Odesk, and the lead generation system that that will provide him. Now, at the moment, he can use Aweber or GetResponse. Now, I know Marty pays 250 odd a month just to use Aweber, but then you've got everything else. So the website, the domain name, the, um, the building of the website, the hosting, all of that adds up and then you've got the uh, capture pages the sales funnels all of that for an email marketer it's it's lots of lots of separate products so the the total cost is probably five to seven hundred dollars a month as a minimum yeah so all of a sudden you've got a, a customer that's come on board to use the products and then he's he's seen this little button and thought hold on a minute i've got $250 a month coming in now I don't have to pay out of pocket anymore because that $250 is covering the cost for me to use these products that I use for my business why would you leave yeah so the 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 rate of retention it should be 99.9999 percent it's it's incredible this is true Let's, uh, let's go on to William, who has been waiting to make a comment or ask a question. Go ahead and unmute yourself, William. Hi, Andy. <laughs> Hi, William. How are you? Uh, you're having a good New Year, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just like to say that the one-time password, I really like that because... Uh, I've never seen it with any other companies having that kind of security. 
because when you're in a wheelchair or like I am in the, the present, uh, when you make uh, payments from your bank, you do a one-time password and, uh, and it goes to the person you send it to. So uh, I see email don't want to get sued for uh, fraudulent charges. So that kind of security I've never seen before. So we're in a really good position for security. There's two, there's two things that I see as far as the security is concerned, William. Uh, um, uh, first of all, and the most important bit is the wallet, because once we've the wallets are set up, we know we have to do uh, what they call KYC. So know your customer. It's the same with financial services. I have to prove who I am. So it'll be a, a photo ID um, uh, of some sort, be it a passport, a uh, driving license, or even a, a birth certificate. And then there's a list of Bs, and those Bs will be a bank statement, a utility bill, something along those lines. Yeah. So there's yeah. two forms of one from A and one from B. Now, once you've proved who you are, this is for two reasons. Firstly, money laundering, but also security. So um, from a from a one-time password point of view, you know, um, there are people that have got crypto wallets and they've had those stolen. Yes. Um, the money out of those crypto wallets stolen. So this is an extra layer of security for your wallet. But also when you think about it, the email side of things um, for, for us in financial services, the pension providers or the providers uh, uh, cannot send emails with statements to customers because emails are un insecure. Yeah. yeah. So now with Omail and the <clears throat> encryption system, you can. So th that, that's just two reasons. But um, uh, again, we have a marketplace already pre-built of over, just over a million people. And, and there's lots of those people within that million that will be selling all kinds of different products. So if you're looking for something specific, the first thing that's going to pop up is one of the existing founders. So let's say for argument's sake that you've got a, a, um, a car dealership and I want to buy a car from you. Yeah, I can pay using my own wallet because it'll simply transfer it across from me, from my wallet to your wallet. It doesn't. I don't have to go through the bank. I don't have to send my money to the bank first, and and have all this issue. I can send it one to the other, and you might even be in a, a different country, and I'd be paying a little bit extra for shipping. It doesn't have to go through the central bank. It's gone through O Wallet. Yeah, we'll have two rings. Uh, like Omail is going to be the first one with Red Redford. He's coming up with that. And I imagine we'll have tutoring for uh, the other products, like the wallet. Every single one of them, yeah. yeah. Every single one of them. We need to make sure that people, under, as I said, I am not tech savvy in the slightest. So these tutorials are going to make a hell of a difference to me to understand exactly what it is I've got got hold of for a start. I see the, the, the numbers side and I see the security side because of the financial services background. But yeah, every single product will have a tutorial. Yeah, because every business, you have to ha know what they're using. Absolutely. Thank you, William. Appreciate it. Next, see, we buddy. have Ke Next, we have Kisab. Go ahead and unmute yourself and speak. Hey, how's it going? Hi, how um, are you doing? I was just wondering, oh, how are we doing? Um, I was just wondering, okay, so we mentioned about the, uh, like, if we're getting a, uh, Let's just say we've met, like we've made uh, those other accounts or whatnot. Um, we mentioned verification for the O wallet or whatnot. Now we we're speculating. We don't really know how it's going to work out. But my question is, if that is the case, um, they are some unfortunate people whether uh, that we have paid for that are still kind of skeptical and whatnot. And it is like. Well, I'm sure once the money starts coming in, they're probably going to be one part of it. But some of them, it's like, oh, well, they're kind of still iffy. So well, how do we go about that? What would be the, your best suggestion, uh, so for, to say? For what? I'm sorry. Um, you mean like, for the uh, so uh, to, if, to activate the account or to? 
or to get them well, involved. Well, for verification for the for the wallet, let's say we've signed people up, up names under that, but let's just say uh, the person's not available or the person uh, does not is not what decline the interest of unpassive unpassive. Uh, how do we go about that? <laughs> right okay, i know so it's crazy it's still crazy did, and i'm yeah, just like I did, I did, absolutely okay i think once you can convince them to sign into their back office and they see money in the account it's going to change their mind like that <laughs> so, so <laughs> yeah and then all of a sudden you'll have a million people getting involved and going oh, what's going on what's going on yeah i it it's uh, i've got right. the same in my group i've got people in in the group that have no interest whatsoever they paid their 97 dollars they've logged in every six months or so um uh, i was laughing yesterday because marty was telling us he's got a guy that that kind of goes to sleep for three months wakes up have we launched yet no okay and then he goes <laughs> back to sleep again for three months it, it, you know <laughs> different people have different uh, priorities at the end of the day uh, uh, you know as i said i i've got a couple of um, guys that run businesses and and they at this precise moment in time they have no interest in finding out what's going on with on passive but believe me they will as soon as they see money coming into their account absolutely they will <laughs> one more question um as far as the resellers uh once you once we cut out the um being able to become a founder or whatnot now as resellers are they gonna I know it's going to be all uh, artificial to intelligence or whatnot, but how are they going to go about the reselling? Are they going to have the on passive, uh, um, uh, what is it? The back office people, are they going to be putting them team members under them or how does, how would that work out? Right. Okay. So, um, uh, let's say for argument's sake, you've got a customer that's an email marketer. And as I said uh, earlier, when, when uh, Lynn asked the question and Narelle, uh, uh, these customers see this little button and uh, it's clicked to become a reseller. Okay, well, I'm not doing anything, but I'll just click this button. I've become a reseller. Now, the guys that are above um, uh, that are marketing, these customers are going to fall in their line in, in, into their um, groups anyway. Yeah. Right. Now, Now, for some... Some of these guys are going to go, hold on a second, I've got a following of 100,000 people. What if I email marketed this to them? Wow, okay, those type of people are going to take this and, and fly with it. Um, <laughs> We don't know what this interim period is going to be. We know that Ash has said that the the marketing campaigns were, are going to start. They're contracted uh, contracted to start um, um, mid to end of uh, mid to end of January. And once they start, I think we're going to see a closure or a, or a limitation then of the number of founders that can be then brought on. And there will be potentially an interim. Uh, and this is my guess, all right? So don't quote me on it, but this is my guess. So you may have an interim period where they become co-founders, not O-founders. They might not get access to the back office like we have, um, uh, and they won't have the perks or the, the opportunities that we get, but they will still be able to be resellers um, and still be able to, don't get me wrong, these people are still going to have unlimited income potential, so they're still going to uh, be able to build their own groups if they want to. Uh, for those customers that come on board uh, that are just interested in the products, when they click that button, they may or may not advertise for themselves. They may just think, well, look, you know, my costs are being covered. What the hell? I'll, I'll let them get on with it. And, and they continue with their business. You just don't know. Um, you know, if you recruit a customer and you teach him um, uh, about the opportunity, then perhaps he might start to to advertise for that. And they will get the same opportunity that we have as far as ad packs are concerned, et cetera, et cetera. Got you. Got you. So I would imagine uh, just pretty much us as founders have a different platform. We'll probably have a different platform. Um, um, then well, you're not sure once, but. Yeah, my understanding is once it's integrated, so it'll integrate within in, into the OnPassive uh, uh, website, so www.onpassive.com, the, uh, there'll be an O-Founders button in the top right-hand corner that we link into. It'll just be seamless, yeah? Um, uh, so so that will be for, for us as founders. And then you'll still be able to log into your account as a reseller, but you won't have the same um, uh, back office that we've got. This is for us and us only, end of story. Yeah. Thank you so much. That answered everything. 
Appreciate oh, that. Brilliant. Thank you, Keith. Uh, appreciate your, your asking your questions. Uh, we're coming up on the hour right now. So I wanted to give Peter a chance to give some parting words if you're available, Peter. I have a question in, uh, in the chat. Oh, uh, Bro go Bruce, ahead. Bruce, Bruce was asking, uh, Bruce was asking when Ash will uh, tell us uh, of the additional uh, idea adver adver advertising packs. So uh, last week during a webinar, he told us that he will give us before the end of this month uh, all the details on the date of the closing of the founders uh, of the company. Uh, and also the details of the compensation plan. So I think at this time we will have the, the additional pack. La last time when he, when he talked about it, he, as, as uh, Andy man mentioned just before, he said to us that uh, it will be 10 times more than the uh, basic package, uh, which be will which be will which be will be around uh, two hundred and fifty or three hundred dollars. Uh, so ten times more than that, but not the price. The price will be uh, between nine hundred and thousand dollar a month uh, to have this addition additional package. I don't know if um, we will still have a kind of uh, VIP premium pack uh, at this price, or if he choose now, uh, because he told us uh, last week he, he, uh, on a, on a pri private session, he, he said that uh, it will be uh, like you, like Andy said, uh, you will you will have a button and you will be able to uh, raise your uh, traffic package uh, at the click of a button. So only one pack, I'm not sure. Maybe several different package that will be available to multiply your traffic by. Uh, uh, five times by 10 times uh, or more. We don't know yet. But it will come soon, uh, Bruce. Thank you, Thierry. I think also the power of that is that when we do purchase these uh, traffic packages, that likely that uh, cost will be coming out of our earnings, not out of our pocket. That's the beauty of Unpassive, is we're not constantly opening up our wallets and paying. So I think that's an amazing part of this company. Uh, Peter, I'm sorry if you were, you were going to speak. Go ahead and speak, Peter, our host. No, I was just trying to say uh, Terry can take it away. Terry, you can just finish off with the last words. But thank you, everyone, for joining. Sorry I am not too well, so that's why my camera is off. Thank, thank you, Peter. Yeah, well soon, Appreciate Peter. Appreciate it. Yeah, for next week. Be yeah. ready for next week. So uh, thank you all for joining. I don't see any hands uh, raising more. So uh, thank you, Andy, for uh, joining us and for all this uh, useful information. And uh, thank you all for uh, joining us. And uh, see you uh, tomorrow. We will have a speci special session in French. I know that. Uh, uh, tomorrow, Red is expecting to do a special a special, special session. Sorry, <laughs> for the uh, for the email change for the people who are willing to change their email if they don't have access to it. Uh, I will do the same in French tomorrow, uh, Tuesday. Uh, so keep an eye on the back office for the link for the French people. And uh, Next week, uh, we will have another guest uh, uh, on Au Perspective next Monday. And also, don't forget the Tagalog presentation with Christine, the daughter of Peter, on Friday. Thank you all for joining. And the video will be on YouTube uh, very shortly. The recording. Thank you, Jerry, Thierry. for inviting me. It's been great. Thank, 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 thank you. Thank you, Andy. Thank you for being here. Thierry, thank you also. I want to acknowledge. Thierry's hard work. He's the one that's been, one that's been primarily, primarily getting, getting, our, getting visitors, our visitors, our guests, our guests 
We appreciate him very much. Very much. And don't forget and today don't forget we have a founders only webinar. Thank you. Thank you. You can have one more. Thank you. 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 Th